There we go. <laughs> yes. My boy. That's right. Hey, everybody. Oh, man. You know, I got to knock that off. Let me turn that down. All right. Hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the um, very, very special, uh, very special thing that we're going to do. Ray and I. And this is Rem. Hi. Good, good evening. Uh, welcome back to the feed. I'm not going to call this the Rich Dickman Show because it's not the Rich Dickman Show. This is the first episode of what we were going to call corona cast excuse me what rich dickman ordered us to call corona cast <laughs> got a call ray you know mm-hmm. earlier in the week and and mr dickman always always eager to take advantage of any opportunity to get publicity or make money he says hey rem uh i know you got 100 coming up and you got a lot of big things going on and everybody's busy and a lot of things going on in the world but um you know we have to take advantage of the coronavirus while we can so what you're going to do is a couple times a week you're going to talk to somebody who is being affected uh, by this nonsense going on in the world and get a, get a real life, you know, boots in the ground, uh, story of what's really going on, Ray. So, uh, mm-hmm. thank you for making the commitment or the, the, uh, the, the time for this commitment. And uh, so we can do this. So tonight on the first episode of Corona cast is an actual person from Australia. Yes, they are real. Uh, he is quarantined <laughs> in Australia. And he may even have a case of the corona. It is it is our, our good friend, our old buddy, Maddie. Maddie from Australia. Maddie, hi. Welcome, welcome to Corona Cast. Welcome. Hey you guys. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. So so tell me real quick, not real quick, most importantly, how are you, man? I, I know you said you're not feeling well. I'm actually feeling a lot better today. Um it's ten thirty in the morning, Western Australia time. Um, so I've only been awake for about an hour. Um, but I'm feeling a lot better than I have been. Less lethargic, less coughing, less sweating, less fever. Um, I have also, I'll just preface it up front, been tested for coronavirus, and I have been tested negative. So you're that- negative. So what do you what are you experiencing right now? A lot of fatigue. That's <laughs> the main one, man. Like I, I got up and what? walked a couple of days ago. Uh, what Saturday morning? I walked from my bed to my couch after sleeping for 12 hours i usually run at about six or eight hours a night and my legs felt like i'd done a 5k run walking 15 meters i couldn't go any further i was wheezing gasping it, and Damn. that's being negative for coronavirus well it's interesting the way the way they test because so there are three things you get tested and if you have no symptoms and you're negative you don't have to quarantine if you get tested and you're negative and you still have symptoms you have to quarantine for 14 days because the test is so new that sometimes it slips through the cracks and they just want to take every precaution they can wow and other ones i'm sorry ray i stepped on you go ahead Uh, i was just gonna say was the uh you tested negative was that before or after the uh organ donors that you may or may not have purchased from the black market and all that you know Sure, I'm hey, sure. Right. There's, there's a reason I was in Indonesia last week, mate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> so, so I wanted to talk about that because because you and I were talking last week, and um, and, and you had, you were you were recently in Bali on vacation. Is that correct? That is correct. I spent six days there and returned home Tuesday night last week. Do you think so you- where? Go Sorry. ahead. Ray. Uh, did you, do you think you actually picked something up from there? And the reason I ask is, like, here in California, people go to Mexico all the time. And because the water's treated differently there, people constantly go down there, drink some of the water, and, you know, you're, you're, you're shitting, shitting water, right? Like, you know, you just, just messes with your internals. So do you think that's kind of what happened, or do you think you actually got the coronavirus despite the negative test? I don't think I have the coronavirus. I will keep making jokes that I do have the coronavirus, but no. Perfect. Um, I've been to Bali probably 10 times in my life. My oh, okay. partner, who I went with, has been there probably four. She has never come back healthy, and I've probably come back healthy twice. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah, you always <laughs> just get It's called Bali Belly. It's no, just oh, it's geez. Third, world, third world country water. Everybody so, gets it. Okay. So you're like, you're requesting time off to go, right? So you're like, hey, I need two weeks off for going to Bali. And then I need another two weeks off to recover from the illness. Is that, so you have to like take extra time off or what? It's something <laughs> that kind of does work like that. Yeah. Oh my God. Sounds so, awful. So you go to, you go to Bali, you have a great time. I assume you drink a lot. You have lots of sex, do lots of drugs. 
and then you fly back. No, and you don't Australia. do any drugs. You don't do any drugs oh, in Indonesia zero. at all. Okay, they have no, no all drugs. The death penalties. Oh really? Really? Yeah. Okay. Indonesia right, so, is so very no drugs. strict on that. No drugs. I do drugs <laughs> first, wow. but not in Indonesia. <laughs> okay. All right. So so lots of liquor, lots of sex, lots of beach, no mm-hmm. drugs. You, you fly back and land in Australia. How soon after landing are you experiencing these symptoms? My partner experienced them the next day. I didn't experience them till the Saturday, which is four days after I got home. Really? So, all right. Mm. So, so you're feeling you're feeling sick. All right, and we got we have the Corona scare going on. All right, everybody's freaking out. Do you? So, at what point do you make the call to the doctor, or do you go to the ER, or are you just trying to hide it? Like, I don't want to be quarantined. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> to anybody. Um. So, my partner thought she might have had it when she got back. Uh, but she was like, well, if you're not sick, then, you know, fuck it. Unless you get sick, then we'll go get tested. So when I woke up crook on the Saturday, crook is Australian for sick, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I woke up sick on the Saturday, we were like, oh, fuck. So we went to, they've set up clinics outside all the major hospitals in Western Australia because obviously they don't want people going to the hospitals. So they're just a, like a block away, I guess. Yeah, that's um, smart. So we went in there and got tested. The test involves they stick a swab about eight inches down your throat and you try not to spew on them. And then they stick one about two inches up your nose. And that is the extent of it. <laughs> wow. That's it. Wow. So we went and then and you go home. Done. Yeah. And then you go home and they say you are under quarantine until you get your results. And they give you a list of things to do. Like once you get your results, what it means and how you go about quarantine from then onwards. All right. So, so you were put in quarantine and your results came back negative, but you're still under quarantine. Is that correct? Correct. Because if you are under quarantine and you get negative results, but you still have symptoms, you have to quarantine for the full 14 days. Okay. So, so tell me about the quarantine in Australia. All right. Now you're, you're locked up inside your home. Um, who I assume, I assume your lady is quarantined with you. So who's Correct. bringing you food and provisions and you know all sorts of things? Do you, do you have family drop them off on your, on your doorstep or the <clears> Amazon.com <throat> drivers hopping up and, and dropping well, stuff off? Like, like how is this, how's life right now? Life is fucking incredibly boring. Um, <laughs> so when I got, when I <laughs> woke up sick on that Saturday, uh, my partner went and she got, she went and did a massive shop. So we've got enough food to last us the 14 days. So we're fine. Um, she ran okay. out of a medication. So my brother dropped it off on the doorstep, knocked on the door, ran back to his car, got the fuck out of here. <laughs> and um, I went out the front and picked it up and gave it to him. Do you know anybody else who's on quarantine right now? Or are you like, are you the only one in your family? I'm the only one in my family. Um, as, as it goes, my parents are currently in Bali. Um, they left two days after we got back. So we're house sitting for them. So we're quarantined at their house and, they are going oh, Jesus. into voluntary quarantine when they get back. In the same house? Oh, we'll we'll go back to our house. Yeah. Once they get okay. Back. So that's interesting. Is Bali like a big destination for Western Australia? Like, I, it is because interesting. The, the cost of living in Australia is insane. Um, it's very high. Um, I remember just a quick sidebar. I was in New York about six years ago. And I went to buy Powerade and I could buy four Powerades for the price of one here. Oh, wow. Everything here is taxed to the Jesus. I can buy a pack of cigarettes, a 25 pack for $50 Australian, which is probably $43 American for a pack of 25 cigarettes. So yeah, everything here is taxed really high. But that being said, we have really good standard of living, good health care, wicked roads, you know, everything is good. So you know, you pay for what you get, I guess. Man, I still believe taxation is theft because I don't believe my politicians will do anything smart with that tax money. Yeah. You know. All right. Okay. So how many days into the quarantine are you now? Today is what Wednesday. So today's day five. So I oh, have shit. another nine to go. Fucking fantastic. Oh, holy Christ. Oh my God. All right. So at what point, like, at what point does this become like one of those psycho movies where your 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 lady friend <laughs> kills you and then hangs your skin up in the shower or some shit? Like, how many more days before that happens? Uh, she's threatened it two days ago, so I'm pretty lucky to be talking <laughs> to you guys already. 
Yeah. And you're like, please don't hang up. Please don't hang up. Leave me on the podcast. Keep this recording. (laughs) I don't don't know what you were talking about a timer before we started our recording, but just let it go and go and go. (laughs) Yeah, just let it go. (laughs) Now, you, you probably have a job that you can't go to, right? Correct. So how are you being compensated? Does Australia have something set up where you're going to get paid or is your job taking care of you or are you just kind of, are you just kind of fucked right now? The first 40 hours uh, are covered by the government. So I'm not using any of my leave entitlements, any of my sick pay, any of my holiday pay. I only do 20 hours a week because I don't really need to work because I got lucky earlier in life with a lawsuit. Um, but yeah, nice. that's, that's about it. Uh, so all my shit will be covered by the government. Awesome. Okay. All right, Ray. I feel like I'm I'm monopolizing the time here. What do you uh, got for wait? You got so for that that the government saying that they're going to pay for that is that just standard or is that a new coronavirus type of deal? That's a new coronavirus deal. Okay. Well, that's nice. So that's what it's strictly for people who have been tested and quarantined. So you can't just say to okay, your I've got perfect, it, and then get paid. You have to have proof you've been tested. See, I like that because here they haven't decided on anything that I'm aware of. Rem, you might know, but I've heard them talking about stimulus packages and blah, 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 you know, whatever they're doing. It's all speculation at this point. But I mean, that's the thing right now. My biggest concern is just imagine uh, all these people live paycheck to paycheck that all of a sudden uh, they say we're shutting everything down for a month. Uh, Yeah. Even if they say, yeah, don't worry about paying rent. Eh, Don't worry about paying your cell phone bill or your electric bill or whatever. Well, yeah, those guys, if they don't have any money coming in, how are they going to buy food for a month, right? Like that will be pure insanity. So I'm glad that the, at least something like that, right? Giving you 40 hours, like right, right off the get go. And then hopefully the people that are gainfully employed, then you can start dipping into the other stuff. But that, uh, that that sounds logical. Like that's the first logical thing that I've heard, I think, uh, in this entire mess. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah it's, it's amazing when you realize and I, and I'm, I hope more people realize this is that is that our government does not work as as constructed. All right, it is it's terrible. It is it's ridiculous the amount of red tape and bureaucrat bureaucracy we have to go through just to get anything oh, done. Yeah. And yeah, we want to place the blame on people, not not moving fast. All right, then, sure, that that that's one thing. But you know, what, oh, Ray, we okay. So Maddie, hang on for a second. I'm gonna go a little inside baseball here. Okay, um, so last week, you no. Know, so, so on the Rich Dickman side of things, so episode 98 came out and that was recorded. Today is St. Patrick's Day. It's March, March 17th here in the States. And for you, Maddie, you're, you're in the future. It's, it's March 18th for you. That's crazy. Whoa, um, correct. But, but for us in the States, it's March 17th. And we recorded episode 98 last Tuesday. And episode 99 was recorded last Thursday because I was supposed to be in Oklahoma right now. My Oklahoma trip got canceled. So I've got two episodes of the Rich Dickman show saying, hey, you know, Dickman Con 2020 is going on. Well, that's canceled. Ladies and gentlemen, Dickman Con 2020 is, is canceled, postponed until <laughs> next time. We can do it. Um, Boo. But the whole world, well, our world here in the United States changed like overnight. So basically mm-hmm. between 98 and 99, the, the, in between days, the whole thing, everything changed. And so it's, I was, I went out, I had to get some paint because I'm redoing my bathroom and the highway is like empty. And I go to the store and the store is empty. Like the Lowe's hardware stores, everything's empty. I did grocery shopping over the weekend. I went to two different stores and it, it's, it's just surreal walking in there and seeing everything missing, you know, all the frozen food gone. And and this whole, Matt, you know what, Matt, here, you know, I'm glad I started going rambling because every once in a while I need to get my thoughts together. And that's what I do. Are the Australian people hoarding toilet paper like they are here in America for some reason? Oh, they're fucking idiots. Like <laughs> it is insane, man. <laughs> I, there's there's no toilet paper on any shelves. There's no rice. There's no bread. Wow. There's no pasta. Uh, there's very little meat in any of the stores. I went. I was discussing this with Ray earlier. I'm a smoker. I and I'm on lockdown. I needed to get more tobacco to roll cigarettes with last night. So I walked my dog to a petrol station. Is that what you guys call gas station? Yeah, yeah. And there were people walking out of there with thirty, thirty roll packs of toilet paper because they had just been <laughs> refilled and so it had dumb. gone on social media that that service station had that gas station had toilet paper just been restocked so the place was fucking packed and everyone was just in there buying toilet paper like what the fuck is wrong <laughs> i i don't get it like what it, why the run on toilet paper of all things like i get i get the pasta and i get the frozen goods and i get the rice you know i, I get the essentials to, to live 
baby formula, for instance, right? Um, but I mean, first of all, leaves are free. Second, we all have running water. <laughs> yeah, jump in the goddamn you shower. You know, use your hand and I don't rinse it off in the sink. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I, I agree. I, I, I so, say about this. It's mind boggling that people just just fighting over toilet toilet paper of all things. I went into um, I don't know if you have these in Australia, Maddie, but we have these um, these wholesale stores where you can get like big bulk items uh, for a, a decent price and the like paper towels, no problem. Yeah, yeah, Costco, exactly. I, I was at a, a Sam's Club, or yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and the paper towels, you know, the Bounty twenty packs, no problem, full, right. Toilet paper all gone. Uh, well, I, I get more use out of paper towels. Gone as well. Uh, I think our constituents might be a little more Jesus. intelligent than yours on the whole. But um, yeah, so we've got we run out of all toilet Easy. paper. I think there's no fucking magazines left because I think people have resorted to that as well. Oh my god! Uh, it, it, be careful with what you say, Maddie. Okay, this is the United States of America. We don't we don't <laughs> take your shit. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Hey, so you said you were you were in uh, you were in New York six years ago. Uh yeah, I was in New York on the coldest day ever recorded in New York. I don't know if it was six years ago. I'm really not good with time, but um, yeah, I've been to the states. <laughs> six, Ray, what year was it? Six years ago, 2014. Yep. Yeah, Maddie, you you were listening to me in 2014, and I was doing Triple T uh, for nine months of that year. Why didn't you uh, reach out and say, "Yo, what's up"? I reckon I might have. Honestly, I wasn't heading anywhere yeah. near Connecticut, but I reckon I did tweet you or make some form of contact with you. You know what? That was actually that was before I started making trips to New York City, anyways. So I wasn't cool then. Twenty fourteen was a was a transitional year in my life. In uh, <laughs> in twenty fifteen, was it twenty fifteen? We started, when did we start going to New York, Ray? You weren't there, obviously. When I got to talk to Chris, but uh, Fit and I started tri- taking trips to New York City, and. Maybe it was 2016. Now I can't go. Can't go anywhere. Can't do. Can't do shit because everything's closed. All the restaurants are closed. Takeout only in some of these um, businesses. All closed. Everybody's home. Everybody's, it's just. It's so. It's weird, man. I want to go out. I want to have a nice, delicious meal of hot pot, and I can't. Uh oh. You okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. Coughed up a literal lung. Have- it's. You know, you don't you don't get high quality lungs that stay in your body when you buy them on the black market. So you know, it happens sometimes. Do you have to get tested again, Maddie, before you get released from quarantine? No, I don't. I'm released no. on the 28th of March. And I would imagine that they would either take you on a body bag or they're like, eh, you, you got to be over by now. One or the other. Right? Much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they say it only lives in your system for like. 11 days so they have the quarantine at 14 just for that little extra kick in the gut so you can be bored for three more days i hadn't heard that the 11 day thing but maddie you're you're a young man fairly healthy correct yeah 34 healthy fit and healthy okay so yeah you'll you'll pull out just fine oh i'm not worried Mm. i i Mm -hmm. just don't want to i've got a 95 year old man that lives next door to me my grandmother's 86 I'm not giving it to them. Yeah. That's why I'm quarantined. I don't really give a fuck, to be fair. It's not going to hurt me, but it might hurt them. Right. Yeah. So you, that's, that's, that's some nice personal responsibility you got there, pal. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for that's doing actual that. Actual common sense, like legitimate yeah. real common sense. That's, yeah, because that's what I was, I was trying to say the same thing to people here, but apparently that doesn't doesn't really uh yeah you know what right maybe maybe australians maybe australians are better than americans because we had a whole bunch of stupid millennial assholes out under spring break out at the beach out of the bars over the weekend celebrating saint patrick's day oh my god i gotta drink with my friends instead of staying home all anybody ever wants to do ray is stay home go ahead bud according to the news i read this morning uh australia has banned gatherings of more than 50 people wow Dave, what? I, I didn't hear you there. I'm sorry. Um, Australia has banned gatherings of more than 50 people. Oh, um, so, yeah. Yeah. We've, yeah, I, I we've banned 50 or more. And, and we're, they recommend uh, 10, or, you know, don't do anything with 10 or more. So, you know, 50 or more is banned and 10 or more is, is frowned upon. So, yeah. What do you well, think about um, unenforceable? Yeah. I mean, really, yeah, yeah, we can arrest everybody. 
<laughs> put those 50 people in jail together. <laughs> you should put them in one cell, one cell, just, yeah. just cram them in there like sardines in a can. Throw in a roll of toilet paper and <laughs> one roll. Yeah, give them one roll. But it's just out of arm's reach through the bars. Gotta, <laughs> yeah, problem solved. <laughs> Maddie, what do you think of uh, the prospect of WrestleMania happening without an audience? Um, so at the moment in Australia, we have the NBL, which is the National Basketball League. Uh, it's equivalent to your NBA, but obviously not when no, it's as not. talented. No, Fact oh, yeah, that, you know, it's yeah. our basketball <laughs> league. Um, <laughs> so they're in their grand final series at the moment, and the first three games were played with no crowds. Um, I watched Jesus. Raw and SmackDown, which had no crowds. Uh, WrestleMania yeah. without a crowd would be fucking insane because the crowd is it's gonna pretty be, much what makes that. Show. Yeah, yeah. Like like Drew McIntyre needs that pop when he wins the championship. You know what I mean? You Correct. know what they need to do? Uh, it's what? it's a simple fix. Is they all they gotta do is lay down the green screen all over everything. Because like, all you have to do is get that color. Just put that all over the whole freaking stadium, and then you, you pump in some noise. And you uh, you just green screen it in. You just make a crowd look like they're there. It's not that. But hard. at the at the end of the day, uh, Vince McMahon's going to Vince McMahon. You know, somebody died in their ring and the show went on. So I'm pretty sure if unless the government's <laughs> stopping these, <laughs> oh, true, he does. Yeah. Oh man, you, you know what? I, speaking of Owen Hart dying, uh, Matt, you know what I what I read today was that uh, Bret Hart, Bret Hart liked to smoke weed, and he liked to smoke weed with Owen. Yeah, I read that in Bret's book. Did you? Yeah, I, I hadn't not, read Red's yeah. book. I, I just saw an expert to the ex, excerpt. Excerpt. I got this. Um, I got this new whiskey, Maddie. It's um from the Tennessee Shine Company. It's espresso whiskey. It's infused mm. with espresso. Uh, it's fairly delicious, but it's hit me quick, man. Hey Ray, what do we have for time? How are we doing on time? We're at twenty two and a half minutes. I have Shit, that was okay, a cause... ten year bullet bourbon whiskey. That's pretty good too. Wow. But uh, which so, you... I mean. Rich Dickman's kind of an asshole, so he's keeping us. He's keeping these short because he doesn't want to pay too much money for hosting. Um, but yeah. Maddie, while you're here, um, we did get a call. I do have a voicemail here, um, and it's from our buddy Spaghetti. And because of our crazy recording, and we had ninety eight, ninety nine last week, and one hundred won't be until next week. I want to get this out there, so it's kind of a dick of the week, and I want you to be a part of it. Okay? Yeah, I'm happy to, man. It's your show, run it however you want. Yeah. I'm here the, for the long term. Cool. I'm not I'm not playing any bumpers though because I'm not fucking paying Ray for this shit. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Uh Rich Dickman show, episode hundred or ninety-nine. <laughs> One of them. And- or Corona Cast. Right, so just to be yeah. Just to be clear, this is Corona Cast. Part of the Rich Dickman network, but not the Rich Dickman show. We're gonna have to call back <laughs> in, Getty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's me spaghetti. Couldn't already tell by my uh three-year-old voice because I'm a three-year-old child um <laughs> yeah it's just it's been a crazy week out here man I you know I thought the coronavirus news were funny you know they were funny uh I left a voicemail on NSHC uh and I basically said that so I'm kind of just treading old ground anyways uh I kind of just said that this virus is like a meme that was cool for a week. Like how, remember, uh, Ram, you'll remember this, calling people a cuck in the dick show community. That was cool until like a month later, everybody else on the internet caught on to that. <laughs> and now it's just not cool to call people a cuck anymore. Uh, that's what's happening now, except the not cool part is affecting my real life. And I hate it. <laughs> yes. It's affecting what I spend my money on. Man, our prom might get canceled, dude. I spent 30 bucks on a ticket. $30! <laughs> and my dumbass is still getting a suit tomorrow. <laughs> Why? Maybe I want to die, man. Maybe I want to die. It's just ah, it's so annoying. It's infuriating. I'm in this group chat, right? And they, I, they're like, oh man, body count. Who's out there right now? And I just post me on a fucking nature trail because I was in a nature trail. <laughs> I take walks because I'm, I'm an active man. <laughs> and <laughs> that was a lie. These fucking, oh my god, they're like, you know, spaghetti. You're really putting people at risk by like, going outside like that. 
<laughs> Fuck you, man. I don't. God. Yeah. Coronavirus <laughs> is the dick of the week. Fuck. Spaghetti. Thank you for calling. Now, real quick, I'll let you guys comment in a moment, but um, I do have another guest lined up for this later this week, and if that person does not make it on, I think I'm going to have Spaghetti on, because yeah, it's affecting his life, too. So, hey, you two find it out who, who wants to talk first. Go ahead, Matty. All right. Ah, all right. So, that dude sounds like an imbecile, but also, hey, he's three years old, and he's graduating from high school to go to his prom, so he's got to be pretty fucking intelligent, right? Book so smart, not street smart. Yeah. <laughs> go for a walk <laughs> he's not infecting anybody unless he's already got it so whoever's telling him to stay at home can get the fuck out of here yeah pretty much i would say this instead of <laughs> instead of getting so upset that you have to get the tuxedo hopefully you're 18 uh and well no sorry sorry hopefully you're at least 16 which should be the case um and therefore you should have your driver's license so what you gotta do is take that tuxedo Go to a nice dealership. Tell them, make up some, make up some awesome story about how you created some algorithm or something. You want to test drive all the nice cars, like for real, and just just start test driving all those bad boys. Make a day of it. Like do something with it. Uh, even if you're not uh, going out to your your prom, trust me, driving around some badass sports cars, <laughs> taking those for a test drive, it'll be better than your prom uh, when when yeah. it's basically canceled anyway. You know. I, <laughs> Spaghetti, I, I got, we got to talk spaghetti again. I, I like spaghetti. Spaghetti yeah. is spaghetti, a good kid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's 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 this is fuck. It, it's right. It, this is like the meme that was funny, right? If you just go back to our last our last several episodes where we're talking about coronavirus, oh yeah, and how drastically things have changed, yes. and it's not like it's this big deadly thing, but like everything is shutting down now. Everybody's like so locking down San Francisco. They're considering locking down New York City. Uh, can I comment on that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I do a lot of work in construction, right? So they're telling, so the other day, two days ago, uh, no, okay. Monday, I'll get specific. Monday, our guys are working. They get off the job sites. And after that, in the afternoon, we get word. They're like, oh, shutting everything down. They're, uh, it's the, uh, basically full, full on lockdown. So from there, uh, we're like, shit, well, I guess we got to start uh, figuring out what we're going to do with these guys and figure out where to make them work. So, you know, scrambling, getting them to work the next day. And then, you know, Tuesday, all these job sites are calling us, we're open. And I'm like, well, why? I'm like, oh, it's public works. It's government work. It means it's essential infrastructure. I'm like, yeah, the building's not open. How the fuck is it essential? Like, where's the, li- there's no common sense. None of this makes any sense. How do you say that you got to shut down everything? Don't go outdoors. But, oh, you know what? Yeah, we can keep building. These are essential buildings. Like, we got to keep building these that are years away from being built, some of them. Like, like completed? Come on. Like, it, none of it makes any sense at all. At all. That's how insane this is. Yeah, no, I, I it, it is it is all insane, Ray. And, and I, I still stand by that most of this is ma- not many. Is the, the media... The hype, the overreacting to all this is kind of is kind of causing the panic, which is causing the, the the buying of everything in one day, which is causing the shortage in the stores, which is causing a whole, which which a whole, I yeah. don't know, man. It's just it it sucks right now. It sucks for everybody right now. So you know that's why we're kind of you know Rich Dickman said, hey, let's do the Corona cast and let's let's give somebody some people a way to complain <laughs> about what's going on because Jesus, yeah. <laughs> if you're stuck at your house, if you're stuck inside with your crazy family for for how long, however long it is. Um, it sucks, man. <laughs> you need an outlet. Yeah. So here, here's what we're going to do. Everybody is that, you know, you've got the Dickman line that's still open. You can use the Dickman line for Corona cast 860-316-4776. Let us know what's going on with you and what's going on in your experience with, um, with the Corona virus, the COVID-19 panic, how it's affecting you. Okay. Um, if you want to come on the show, we are, we're going to do a couple of these a week. We'd love to have you on. We're going to keep them short though. We're not going to be too, too long, but, um, you know, send me a buzz, hit me up on Twitter at Rem Dickman or the uh, show account at Rich Dickman show, but you know, do at Rem Dickman so I can keep track of it better and let me know, you know, and if, if I like your story, if I like what you have to say, or if I'm interested, I'm going to have you on the show, but as always, you can call that Dickman line 860-316-4776. Uh, hopefully we get more stories like Maddie, um, you know, how, how this is affecting you. Um, the, the guest I want to have uh, later in the week um, had a whole tour built around uh, visiting people 
and um, it's, it's suddenly canceled. So, I mean, that's a significant impact in the paycheck or a pocketbook or whatever it is. Um, mm-hmm. but, but, you know, there's a lot, totally. a lot behind that. It's like, how do we, how do you reschedule? How do you tell people you're canceling? You know, stuff like that. Um, or we're going to talk to Spaghetti and he can tell us all about uh, being locked out of school. That, that's always cool. Not letting kids go to school, right? So, Maddie. Oh, I'm reaching away from Maddie. I'm going to I'm gonna start wrapping up here, but I want to hear any last words, anything else you want to tell us about your experience through all this, or if you want to just like shit on America or, or whatever it is, you know, let, let me have it. No, nah, I don't want to shit on America. I love America. We've got all the good sports <laughs> and all the good bands. <laughs> we do. Um, I do want to say is to anybody listening who isn't a Patreon, these two fucking clowns did a voiceover an old liquor fueled episode that is only available on Patreon and it's fucking hilarious. I lost my shit probably 10 times. So yeah, give that a look. It is true <laughs> you, comedy. You didn't have any toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> but no, do that. It's, it's cool, man. You guys, if you're not Patreons, do it. You're missing out. Thanks buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, <clears throat> Ray, you want to, you want to wrap up, you want to wrap up your, your thoughts here. You have another question for Maddie or, or are we good to go or, yeah, so what? Just a real quick one for you, Maddie. Then is so what happens if someone is caught uh, wandering about? Like I, Australia doesn't oh, have that yeah. many guns, right? So it's not like shoot on sight. You got to do like what is it? You just neighbors call and then the police roll up and or, or like what happens? Uh, you're talking in terms of breaking quarantine. I've not yeah, heard of yeah. anybody being prosecuted for any form of breaking quarantine. But then again, if you've been quarantined, not many people are going out because it's just fucking common sense. If you're sick, don't infect other people. But yeah, I guess it's not really an enforceable law. So what are you going to do if you're the fucking police or the government? Well, and, and also, what are you going to do? Like, if everything's closed, <laughs> like, what are you yeah. going to go to the movie theater and stare at a black screen? Like, yeah. I mean, there's not, not much, too much what going you on. What do guess? when Corona Mania runs wild on you? God brother. Damn it. This, brother. This all sucks, man. So we're going to get through this together. We're going to mm-hmm. get through this. Tell your friends about Corona Cast. Part of the Rich Dickman right. Network. We've got Rich Dickman 99, Rich Dickman Show 99 coming up um, later this week, Saturday, yeah, and, uh, with the Priory Society. And that's that's a great, that's a great, that's one of my favorite ones we've done. So I'm looking forward to putting oh, that out yeah. there. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of content for you over the next few weeks, you guys. And um, and so so real quick, my plan right now for 100, um, instead of the big, uh, big uh, drug-fueled uh, bash that Randy was playing... <laughs> It's going to be me me and Ray on a normal recording night on the, I think it's the 26th, Thursday, the 26th. So Maddie, put this in your calendar because you're still in quarantine. Thursday, the 26th at 10 p.m. Eastern. So that'll be Friday morning at 10 a.m. for you, Maddie. And yep. if, if anybody wants to wants to call in and join the show for a few minutes and, and talk to us or talk shit or whatever it is, you're all welcome to. You can get into the Discord, bit.do slash trds1. And um, we're just going to, we're going to have a good time. We're going to hang out with all our friends and you can, you guys can jump in and talk and say hi. And uh, we'll just see what, uh, what, what it brings, what 100 brings. Be a little celebration of TRDS. We'll probably only let people talk for like three to five seconds at a time. Cause let's be honest, the show is about us. I mean, come on. (laughs) Yeah. You're right. (laughs) But Matt, I hope we see you there, Maddie. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I'll be there. Don't worry about that. And uh, awesome. Awesome. if you want to get in contact with me, you know how, and I'm always available to jump in if you need me. Sweet. Yeah, stop stop calling me on Discord, man. I'm never going to answer because I don't have it set to ring. <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if you need me, it's it's best to send me a DM on if you use Twitter anymore. Because I'll, I'll see that before I see the stuff on uh, on the uh, Discord. Uh, Maddie, you want to plug your Twitter well, before we go? Nah, man, I never fucking use it. <laughs> never use it. Okay, cool. All right, <laughs> so you know, raise that Jules Whitfield. I'm at 1984. Whatever your fucking account is. <laughs> 84. What the fuck, Maddie? Jesus, this is Rem Dickman. God damn, it's my real name. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it's at Jules Winfeld, at Rem Dickman, at Rich Dickman Show. This has been Corona Cast number one. We'll see you again later this week. Thanks for listening. Bye. I'll see you. <laughs>